Yo. Oh, I forgot to say it's maintaining Kanisha. Like, maintaining Kanisha. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel i know i've been gone for maybe like some weeks or so but i did get my tonsils removed and had a lot of other things to deal with so now i'm back for good and should be consistent um but life happens so whatever um i really want y'all to see me my shirt that i got from walmart 8.97 if y'all want a graphic tee collection just let me know below but I do kind of collect graphic tees. Well, not collect, but I make sure I have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I make sure. <laughs> I Every time I find a cheap graphic tee, I buy it. But anyway, video is not about graphic tees. Today, I finally invested in myself. And I got a brand new ring light that will help me with my business. My business is Butterfly Basu. I kind of like put it right here. Butterfly Basu. I sell high quality jewelry. Like these for a an affordable price um i kept college students and maybe like um younger teens in mind when i'm thinking of the prices so if y'all want to shop the website is finally open just saw in the number but let's get to it so today's video is me unboxing the ring light well not really unboxing because prior to this i already unboxed it but my iphone the storage of my iPhone is just crazy. The videos kept stopping. And I just had to trash the whole thing and delete it. So the unboxing video is deleted. So what I'm basically going to do today is show you how to set up the ring light. Because the directions were horrible. Whoever made the manual for the ring light just assumed you just knew what you were doing. So I'm just going to today go through it quickly. So you don't have to hear me talk about anything pointless and i'm just gonna point out everything um make sure you like comment subscribe thank you to my three <laughs> new subscribers i appreciate you guys um if i was consistent maybe it would be more but hey you all gotta start somewhere and thank you to my overall i think it's 61 subscribers i appreciate y'all um but let's get into the video this is the box the ring light came in see i already unboxed it i ordered the ring light off of amazon i did two day shipping which is prime so it came in pretty quickly um all together i'll put the real price up here i think it was like 80 some dollars it cost me which wasn't bad um i think it was on sale when i got it this ring light actually went down to 50 but i missed it which would have been a great deal but um, it came with a variety of items, which I'm about to get into right now. I need to get the bag, hold on. So it came with the carrying bag, which is cool, especially if you're like gonna be transporting anything or if you're a photographer or anything. So this is the name of the ring light. I don't wanna pronounce it. It could be newer, newer, something, I don't know. But yeah, so this is what you get. Of course you get your ring light stand it's pretty sturdy you get the ring light which is very big very big you get your two i can't say ring light filters because you get this one which i'm guessing if you want like a more sunny yellowy touch and you get this one of course everyone opts for this one but i'll show how both of them look you get your thingy I don't even want to. I don't even want to see whatever. And you plug this in, and it's just like for everything to plug into the ring light. You also get this, which is bendable, but you have to put like strip fit to it. You have this. Um, this is for your phone. It slides into the ring light. This is the phone holder. Yeah, if y'all wanted to see everything. And this is the Bluetooth remote, which is very helpful if you're taking pictures of clothes. So let's get into actually assembling, assembling the ring. Oh, you have the ring light stand. Of course, I'm thinking, okay, you just sit this on the ground, open it up and whatever. You actually have to come in and this one right here 
so you have this of this 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 is all the way down and you come right here well this is going to be tightened you have to loosen it which mine is kind of loosen oh no i don't use it too much but loosen it and you have to flip it <laughs> you have to flip it so loosen it and flip it and make sure you tighten it back up this is how you're going to make the stand for the ring light. So now you can place that on the crown. Next step would be to put the ring light on. You would take the ring light, you see this, you will loosen this knob, put it on top, and you would tighten it. Make sure you hold it. You big dummy! You big dummy! You big dummy! Oh, I was turning it the wrong way. So you're gonna place the ring light on top of this and then you're just gonna screw it on. Make sure you're holding the ring light and screw it till it tightens. Bam. The ring light is now on. Now, if you have that flexi thing, that bendable thing that I have with my ring light, and it took me a while to figure this out because I could not find no YouTube videos with this. What? Ouch! Oh my God. I'm not even being dramatic. That thing hurt. For real, why? You have this little bendable thing. You can, it's not for your phone. I thought it was for my phone. I thought the phone holder was gonna fit on here and it would be able to just, my phone would just stick over the ring light. It's not for your phone. It is for your ring light. So you it's the same concept as putting a ring light on there. You're gonna put this on there and you're gonna tighten it. Bam. Now, since we up here, y'all added more butterflies to my door. But now you're gonna take your ring light and place this on here. And it's just the same motion. Tighten, 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 tighten. And bam. So with this, your ring light is now flexible. It could be all the way back. It could be all the way forward. Which I saw like the older ring lights and the older videos I watched, they did not show this piece. So, and it's really helpful if you needed to like bend over. Um, yeah. And if you wanna make your ring light go forward or backward, you just use the opposite knob that you use to screw it on. Okay. Y'all, this ring light could get pretty tall. So it, it has three options. It could get real tall. It has three um three things. So it has this one, it has, and this one. This one, this one, and this one. So it has three things. Now you just adjust it right here. Adjust it right here. So I'm like, adjust it right there. And, oh, well, yeah. So you got this, this, and this. It can go as tall as you really want it to. But so we're gonna keep it right here. So let's put everything close on it. Now let's get to the phone holder part. On the ring light, you have this little thing. So you take this, make sure it's like, whatever. And you put it on here, you slide it on here. It has two knobs, just make sure they go both go to the bottom. And then you take your phone holder and you screw it in to this part.
and there you go also you can screw your phone you can screw it on this side too either side um and yeah and have this this just tightens the because this can be kind of loose this part can be kind of loose so this little thing just tightens it up and loosens it but yeah so i'm gonna put this back on the ring light so that's the basics of setting up this ring light it was pretty kind of it was kind of difficult at first because i don't know who they made those instructions for but it wasn't user friendly i'm going to switch phones so you can see like the difference in lighting and the difference with each filter on um also man this thing is so sturdy this goes in and you twist very easy so i do have the ring light the new ring light on low light but i'll turn it all the way up to show you guys so let's find a thing so this is at the lowest boy if you don't get and this is at the highest wow i'll change the filter so you can see the difference and yeah so i might have left out that like under the light this is the switch to like brighten it or like turn it off so i changed the filters and you can kind of see the difference i'm kind of more warm than the other one some people might be like duh okay i didn't know that but whatever so this is the lowest this is the highest on like warm i'm only doing this because the lights like in my glasses 10 out of 10 everything was perfect the ring light is sturdy the light is very bright um everything on here is sturdy it's like worth the money it's worth the investment and now i have better lighting um eventually i'll get a better background too a better everything i'm about to show you my old ring light and i'll kind of put the name up there too i wouldn't recommend it but that's just me. actually my old setup it's kind of ghetto yes i might edit this out but so since this ring light decided to break i actually put my lamp inside the ring light to reflect the light so this is the ring light i got off amazon as you can see let me put my head in it i can't even fit my head in it it's very small i think it was like a 10 inch ring light i had to end up taping it because it fell it's very flimsy it fell and this broke because this little white thing pops out so it fell this broke so i put some tape on it so it doesn't pop out anymore um one night i don't know what i was doing i must got big feet i was walking and i i didn't have my glasses on and i was going to turn off the light so i could go to sleep and i accidentally stepped on the ring light and broke it feels like it just feels thin and everything it was 60 dollars. it did change colors that's why i got it because it changed colors i didn't want no basic ring light but it was 60 dollars and it broke so that's like 60 dollars that went down the drain so don't buy this one i'll put the name somewhere right here so you know not to buy it sorry if you could see the ring light in my glasses i can't do nothing about it but this is the end of the video please like comment and subscribe leave video ideas down below i'll be coming with videos i plan to upload like twice a week thank you guys for watching maintaining condition